Hello everyone, this is Haider al Mansouri. In this video, I'm going to talk about the basic structure, the basic structures of simple sentences. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the possible basic structures for simple sentences. And you need to pay attention to the, um, the fact that uh, we are going to present these basic structures um, according to the relational structure according to the relational level in other words um, we will explain the basic structures depending on the function of the components of these sentences okay so we're going to use how the basic constituents in simple sentences uh, behave in order to understand these basic structures um, let's start with the first uh, basic structure in this structure we only have a subject and a and intransitive verb okay so the first basic structure for simple sentences and again we're talking about um, the constituents that are necessary in order to uh, construct a correct sentence so again the first structure has um, contains a subject and intransitive verb look at the example someone this is the subject and is take is talking is the verb the other the second basic structure can have a subject and a verb an adverbial complement um, Look at the example, my parents, this is the subject, are living, this is the verb, in Chicago. In Chicago, this is an adverbial complement. And again, this is according to, func to function, because again, if we were to um, analyze in Chicago according to form, then this is a prepositional phrase. However, it functions as an adverbial complement. The third basic structure can have a subject, a linking verb, and a subject complement. Look at the example, I, this is the subject, feel, tired, feel is the main verb, and tired, a subject complement. Okay. Uh, the fourth basic structure could have a subject, intransitive verb, and direct object. Again, look at the example, we, this is the subject, have finished the main verb, or the verb or phrase, our work, direct object. The fifth basic structure could include a subject, a transitive verb, indirect object, and direct object. Um, look at the example. She, this is the subject, has given, this is a transitive verb, okay? This is a verb or phrase. And it has a, a transitive verb. Me, indirect object, the letter, direct object. The sixth uh, basic structure could include a subject, transitive verb, direct object, and adverbial complement. Look at the example. You, the subject, can put this as the verb or phrase. E, your coat, this is direct object, in my bedroom, adverbial complement. And again, always you need to pay attention, you need to differentiate between um, the form of these components and how they behave or what role they perform in such structures. And we have one more um basic structure which uh, could have a subject and transitive verb direct object and object complement look at the example you this is the subject have made this is the verb or phrase me direct object very happy object complement um it is very pivotal to understand that the type of sentence structure depends on the choice of the main verbs. To put it differently, the main verbs, the main verbs that you're using 
okay, in your writing or in your speech, determine what kind of basic structure uh, according to which uh, we can um, construct sentences. So very um, crucial for you to pay attention to the main verb. Okay, because again, um, if you go back to these um, structures, these basic structures, and you can notice that the um, the, the 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 structure changes if we were to change the main verb. Basically, we all sentences have to have a subject. Okay, they have to start with a subject. It could be one word, two words. It could be a phrase. It could be a noun. It could be a pronoun. It doesn't matter. But we have to have a subject, and we have to have a verb. However, the main verb could uh, differ from, from one sentence to another sentence, okay? And uh, according to the main verb, uh, we um, add, and according, to the, and according to the main verb, what follows, and the main verb determines what follows. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, to make it uh, clear, look at these examples. I have eaten. I have eaten. In this basic stru structure, we have a subject and a verb. Okay? Why? Because eaten in this sentence, we used eaten as an intransitive verb. Okay? But if you were to use eaten as um, a transitive verb, then you need an object, as in um, the second example, I have eaten lunch. So eaten in this, in the second example, uh, is used as transitive verb. Therefore, we added an object. Also, pay attention to um, it smells and it's it smells sweet. Now, smells uh, as intransitive verb. It smells sweet. Uh, a smell in this um, sentence um, is used as a linking verb. Okay, and you can um, refer to the previous video to understand um, to to um, to understand this better. Also, look at the last two examples. He felt a fool. Okay. And he felt the material. Now, a fool is a compliment. Okay, he felt a fool. This is a compliment. And he felt the material. This is an object. Well, why is this? Because um, felt and the he felt a fool is used as a linking verb. However, felt in the second example, he felt the material, felt in this sentence is um, used as uh, a transitive verb. So again, this shows you that the main verb determines what kind of basic structure uh, we could have. Um, extra examples to illustrate this point. Uh, I have made some sandwiches. I is the subject. Made, this is um, the main verb. It is a transitive verb, though. Therefore, we need an object, some sandwiches. But look at the, um, the following example. I made them some sandwiches. Now, uh, here we have to, uh, we have a subject, um, of course, the verb, then indirect object and um, direct object. And the same applies to um, the last two sentences. I have named my representative and I have named her my representative. In the sentence, I, ha I have named my representative, we have a subject and a verb and an object. However, um, 
the, the other example, I have named her my representative. Uh, we have um, a subject and, of course, a verb and object and object complement. Um, um, again, pay attention to these examples. Um, the children are growing. Now, this is a subject and a verb, and the verb here is um, is being used as um, intransitive verb. Uh, however, uh, consider uh, the other two examples. Let's start with the children are growing carrots. Now, the children, again, this is the subject, are growing. This is the verb phrase. Carrots, this is direct object. See? Now, in the sentence, and growing is being used as transitive verb. Um, and consider the third example. The children are growing hungry. Um, now, uh, we have, again, a subject. A growing, this is the main verb. However, it's being used as a um, linking verb. Uh, why? Because uh, pay attention to what follows. We have hungry. Hungry is an adjective. Okay? So, it's a complement. Um, so, again... Uh, it is very important to pay attention to the main verb in order to understand structure um, of um, the basic structures of simple sentences. That's it for this video. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.